Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm gonna cook some picanha steaks, or colette steaks, or uh, top sirloin cap steaks. <laughs> uh, picanha, it's called, in the Brazilian steakhouses, and my friend Guga over at Suyu Did Everything will tell you I'm probably gonna do it wrong, because I'm not Brazilian, but I'm gonna show you how I do it, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. I got my picanhas here, and um, if you watched the other one of the other videos that I did recently, where I showed you the difference between tri-tip and uh, picanha, um, this is where I got the picanha from. Matador Prime Steaks. I want to thank Matt, the owner over there. He sent me both the tri-tip and the picanha to make these videos with, and I'm going to go ahead and cook them up for dinner tonight. And as you can see, I already have them vacuum sealed. I did cut them already. Cut them into steaks. They're about an inch and a half thick. Kept the fat cap on it. Uh, I did season these up before I vacuumed them and put them in the freezer. And I know Guga's going to kill me because I use salt, pepper, and garlic instead of just salt like they traditionally do in the Brazilian steakhouses. But I don't know. I had to buck uh, the trend there and do it the way I like them. So salt, pepper, and garlic it is. They're all frozen up still. I got my uh, sous vide container set up to 132. I'm going to cook them for about three and a half hours, maybe about just till three hours. Um, these are fairly um, tender already, so they don't need a whole lot of tenderizing. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw them in at 132 for about three hours or so. And then we're going to toss them on the grill at a really high heat and get them all seared up. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in right now. Steaks out of the bag. I'm going to get ready to pat them dry here. Got my fire all going. Nice and hot on my mini Kamado. I'm just going to go ahead and pat these dry real quick. And throw just a little bit more of that beef rub on there. Before we toss them on the grill. And we're just going to do a real quick hot sear on the uh, Kamado grill there. But first, I want to put just a little bit more of my beef rub. I know, Guga's going to kill me. Salt, pepper, garlic. But I like steak with salt, pepper, garlic. I know he does too, but he doesn't like to do it on his picanha. His precious picanha. <laughs> but I do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this, and I will see you guys out. All right, guys, grill. I got my steaks on. Hit it with a little bit of the duck fat spray. I just threw these on. I looked and my camera wasn't rolling, so uh, temp's up to about 375. I'm going to close it up. It should get a little bit hotter. I think it dropped because I opened the top. But I just put those on with a little bit of duck fat. I'll be All right, right it's been a little over a minute and a half. I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Yeah, they're starting to get some good color. It's getting hot there. Fat starting to render a little bit. About a minute on there. I can give them another minute or so on this end. All right. I'll be back. All right, it's been another minute. See what this is looking like. Looking good. It's not going to be too much longer. I'm just going to try to get a little bit, just a little bit more color on this side. And we'll be done. Just a couple seconds on each side. All right, guys. Those picanhas are done. They look about perfect to me. So. As you can see, the fat got a little cooked down there. I'm going to take a piece right off of this end. Looks really juicy. 
hope you can see that still nice and medium rare mm. very tender very juicy very delicious I think I'm gonna have another piece yeah buddy that's nice and medium rare that sear on there with that duck fat it's really good all right guys picanha find it find it in their latin markets find it at matador prime steaks matt sent me this and it's delicious i'll probably be ordering some more from them so check out matador prime steaks in the uh link below you get 10 percent off on your first order if you use the fire and water 10 code at checkout thanks for watching follow us on facebook Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for when new videos come out. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next video.